Hi Camilo, my name is Christina. I told you I'd get you this video over with three things that can set your company above your competition. Uh, so the three things we're going to talk about today are content, citations, and backlinks. And I'm going to show you some tools that you can actually go out and get yourself that will help you with your SEO. So the first thing that I want to talk about is content. The average site needs 1,000 to 1,500 words to be optimized with Google. You have a lot of good content with the pictures on your site, but not a whole lot of words. It looks like you're sitting at maybe 200, and I feel like it's probably a little less than that. Uh, so that you're missing out on that content um, because that's what Google's going to look at. It's number one thing they look at. Whereas when you do a search for website design Kansas City, I went ahead with, with, with website design, but of course there's a bunch of keywords for the stuff that we do. If you look over here, we've got, of course, you could go after digital marketing, Kansas City logo design, but specifically website design Kansas City. If you see here, the volume is 110 people a month on average are searching for that. So those are 110 potential clients you miss out on by not being on the first page of Google. So when you look at your competitor, the top one organically ranking is Kansas City Web Design and SEO, kcwebdesigner.com. And if you look at their page, they have a lot of content with pictures and videos, and um, they even have like this book on here. But if you look at the amount of words on here, they're sitting at about 1,700. So I went and put that in word counter to see how many how many they had. And these are my competitors too, so I know how it feels to to go up against one of these one of these big agencies. And they've been around for a long time. But that would be the first thing that I'd recommend is getting some more content on your page and making sure that it's got some of the keywords that people are searching for, such as website design Kansas City, built into your content. The second thing we're going to talk about are citations. So the next visible thing when you do a search for any kind of service is right here. We call this the Google Map Pack. This is where we see the business name, address, and phone number. Um, this tool that I'm going to show you is called WhiteSpark. It's whitespark.ca. It costs about $20 to $30 a month. Um, could be up to $70, depending on what, what plan you went with, but you probably want to stay in that $20 to $30 a month range. And this allows you to compare the citations. So in order to get listed here in the map pack, uh, you have to go after those citations. And what citations are is when you submit your information into directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, City Star, etc. So if we look here in the map pack, of course, anybody that pays for the ad to be up at the top is, is going to be at the top, but you also, these guys are organically ranked in here and not paying extra for it. And the way that they're doing that is by being, having their web information, again, that business name, address, and phone number listed into a lot of directories. And so, um, I don't know what I'm doing here with lead Kia, but I'm messing it up because it's still only showing two citations. So I think that they might have it listed differently to where it's not showing up in, in white spark. But if you look at the other two, the next top two is WebWorks of KC, and then, um, then I put your information in just to show a comparison. So WebWorks is currently sitting at 21 citations, and you're sitting at 10. Um, they probably also have that keyword built into their page with their content, so they kind of talk to each other. You have to have that content and the citations to get listed in that, in that Google Map Pack. So after you get your content updated, the next thing I'd go after is getting listed more citations. They're at 21. I wouldn't just stop at getting like 22 citations. You need to go after a lot. It takes a couple months for the citations to show up in this tool, so they could have more citations than that. So my recommendation is at least doubling or tripling the amount of citations they have. So I'd probably go after 50 plus citations just to start with and get your business listed to try to beat them out in that. And that way you can show in that Google Map Pack. And the last thing we're going to talk about are backlinks. So the way the backlinks work, this is the biggest thing that SEO does. Um, basically, it works like site A points to site B. Site A is the link juice that gives site B more authority in Google's eyes. It's like a popularity contest. So basically, if you have more sites coming in, then you're more popular than the other websites. However, you have to be careful with link juice because it's more effective if you have a relative site linking back to you. For example, a blog post about... Um, chiropractic care from another site is going to have less authority than if you actually had a blog post about web design or logo design or uh, marketing or anything like that because that has more authority coming back to your site because you don't do chiropractic care, right? So um, you could have a backlink coming from a chiropractor site, like if you built a website for a chiropractor, but it's just not going to have as much authority and popularity as if you had something specifically regarding what our niche is. 
So I have this other tool that I'm going to show you. And again, this is something you can go out and get. It's called Arefs, A-H-R-E-F-S dot com. This one's a little more expensive. It costs about $100 a month, but it really gives you a full picture of what your website's doing in the background. So right now you've got four referring domains with five backlinks, um, not ranking for any keywords. And so it's showing on average zero organic traffic. I'm sure you get some traffic, but it's not from... It's usually when you're getting traffic, it's probably because people are specifically, they know you and they're and they're looking for you uh, directly. So what you want to do is you can actually go in here and look at what backlinks you have, which they look like citations. And then you want to compare it to what your competitors are doing. So again, that Kansas City web design is in that number one spot. So I pulled up their information. And you'll see that they, they do SEO also, so they do their own, but they're sitting at 489 referring domains, so 489 different sites with over 15,000 backlinks that are coming back to their web page, and they're ranking for 1,300 keywords. So you'll see that they're averaging about $10,000 a month, um, probably more than that. That's just what Google or what AREFs uh, is guessing that they, that they sit at. So uh, what you can do is go in here and click on the domains that they're listed for and do what we call the copycat method. So if it's working for them, it would work for you. And you can go over here and go after these same backlinks that they have. Now, some of these are the websites that they're built, so you won't be able to get those. But some of the blog posts, blog comments, those kind of links, you could go after and get those same links back to your web page. So in closing, we talked about content, getting you up to that 1,000 to 1,500 words on your front page, citations, uh, making sure you get listed in a lot more than what your competitors are getting listed as, and link juice, getting those backlinks back to your page that are relevant to what you do. Um, if you have any more questions, absolutely reach out. I'd love to help out. I might even look at, maybe we can look at some kind of a partnership since you do the website design. I can do website design also, but maybe we could kind of work together and and split up some of uh, some of our clients. So if you want to reach out to me, again, my name is Christina. I'm with Casey Phoenix SEO, 816-323-4100. Hope this helps.